I will show you how you can automatically reply to voice messages using ManyChat and ChatGPT. And we will create it in such a way that if someone sends a voice message in the DMs, we grab that voice message and send it to ChatGPT. ChatGPT transcribes it and gives the answer and we send the answer right back to ManyChat. So by the end of this video, you have a fully automated system that replies to voice messages using AI. And you will also get the template for free so that you can copy and paste it. Let's get started. So we will create our automated system in three simple steps. First, we will create our open AI assistant that is trained on our data. Then we set it up in ManyChat so that if someone sends a voice message, we send it to ChatGPT. And lastly, we create the ManyChat and ChatGPT integration using Make. So let's start with the first step, which is creating our open AI assistant. So in order to do this, you can just go to platform.openai.com. And this brings you to the OpenAI platform. So I am already logged in. In the case that you're not logged in and you don't have an account yet, you can basically create a free account with OpenAI. So once you're logged into OpenAI, the first thing that you wanna check is if you have enough credit balance. So if you go here to the settings, and then here go to billing, then here you have your credit balance. And you basically need to just to add some balance here that you can play around with ChatGPT. So right now if $12, you can just upload like $5. That's pretty much enough for what we are going to do here in this tutorial. So you want just to add something to your credit balance. I just wanted to tell you that. So once you've done that, we can basically go to the playground and then go to assistance and then we can create our assistant. So an assistant is basically an AI agent that can automatically reply to questions. And we can train an assistant on documents about our business. So here I can just click on create and then I will just call this e-commerce biz assistant. And then I will just give it a prompt. So I already have a prompt on my second screen here. So it's a very simple prompt. It's like, okay, this is your role. And these are basically the constraints that you have. You will get this prompt as well with the template in the description. So here I can click on save. And then here we have the GPT 4.0 model. So we can basically select any model that ChatGPT uses. I will just go with GPT 4.0. And then we can also enable file search. So when we enable file search, we can basically upload documents that ChatGPT will train itself on. So in this video, I will use the example of an e-commerce business just to keep things simple, but you can basically train this assistant on any type of data that you have. So in this video, I will just train it on this document. So this document contains information about an e-commerce business so it contains information about the returns about delivery times it contains information about warranty so we all have that so we can automatically reply to that and then here i can just upload this so we can enable file search click on files and then upload a new file which is the e-commerce business knowledge base and then click on attach and now ChatGPT will train itself on that file. And then we can also ask questions about it. So for example, if I type in here, what is your return policy? And then click on run. Now it is running the retrieval, basically meaning it is going through the file and then says our return policy allows you to return your items within 14 days after delivery, it costs you $5. So that's basically how that works. And what I recommend you to do is once you have trained your assistant on your data, you just need to have a lot of conversations with it. Just test whether it gives the correct answers that you're basically looking for. And if it doesn't give the correct answers, you either need to change your files or you need to change the prompt, like here, the system instructions. So you basically need to have a back and forth conversation, a lot of them, which your assistant and once you have trained your assistant and it's giving the correct answers we can connect it to ManyChat. So inside ManyChat we basically need to do two things. First we need to create three fields where we store the information that we want to send and receive from ChatGPT and once we have done that we need to create our default reply so that when someone sends a voice message in the DMs we send it to ChatGPT. So if we head over to ManyChat we basically need to go here to settings and then here we can go to fields. And then here we need to create three fields. So I'll just create a new folder, which is called ChatGPT. So inside this folder, we will create three fields. So the first one will be called ChatGPT question. So here's where we basically store the link to the voice message. We click on create. 
Then we have ChatGPT thread ID. So a thread in ChatGPT is basically a conversation. So whenever you hear thread, think conversation. So this is basically the conversation ID. So if we start a conversation with ChatGPT, we get an ID back so we know, okay, this is this conversation. So that's that. And then we have the ChatGPT response. So that's basically the response that we get back from ChatGPT and that we then can use in ManyChat. So here we can click on create and then that is created. So that's working. And then the next step is to basically create our default reply. So the default reply in ManyChat is the automation that triggers if no other automation is triggered. So if someone sends a DM, ManyChat will check if it triggers any of the flows that you have created in ManyChat. And if it doesn't, then the default reply will trigger. And that's the one that we will use. So whenever someone sends a voice message, the default reply will trigger. And then we'll check, okay, does it contain a voice message? And if it does, then we send it to ChatGPT. So what we will do here is we will go to Instagram and then here we have the default reply and then we can click on create a new reply, right? So then we need to set this to the user sends a direct message every time so that every time someone sends a message, we will trigger this integration. And then here we remove this and the first step that we need to do is do a condition because we need to check if someone sends a message whether it's a voice message because it could also be a normal message and if it's a normal message you can basically use the ChatGPT integration of another video so i have another video on my youtube channel that basically explains like how you can automatically reply to questions with ChatGPT. so if you haven't watched that yet i highly recommend going to that video as well and then what we need to do is we need to remove this first message and instead of using a first message we will be using an action and by the way if you don't have any experience with using actions i have a ManyChat beginner course on my website that explains all the features in ManyChat. so if you want to get more experience with that i highly recommend checking out the link in the description so here what we will do is we'll add an action then click on contact data and then set the user field. So here we will set the chat GPT question field and we will set that to the last text input. So you can either type in a bracket or you can here click on the bracket and then select less text input. So this basically contains the last text input that someone sent in the DMs, right? So that's what we will do. And then we will add a condition because we basically need to check whether someone sends a voice message because it could be that someone sends just a normal message and if someone sends a normal message you can use my default ChatGPT integration so here what we will do is we'll add a condition and then here we'll check if the ChatGPT question contains lookalike.facebook.sbx.com so how this works is that if ChatGPT question contains lookaside.facebook.com then it can either be a voice message or an image and then we want to send it to ChatGPT and that brings us to the last step which is creating the integration between ManyChat and ChatGPT using Make. So Make is an integration platform that you can use to connect apps to each other without writing any code and if you don't have a Make account yet i highly recommend going to the link in the description because if you click on that link and sign up you will get 30 days of the pro plan for free so you can click on that link or you can either go to chatomize.com make and then you will basically go to the make.com website and then here you can basically sign up for your make account i already have a make account so i will just sign in with my own account so here we just click on login and go to info at chatomize and now I'm logged in and then I click on create a new scenario. And then here we can basically import the template that you will get from me. So here you can basically click on import blueprint and then choose for the ChatGPT ManyChat integration voice and then click on save. So if you go to the link in the description and basically install my template, you can basically just import this blueprint and it's directly inside your make account. And by the way, if you like these types of templates, please subscribe to my channel and also like this video. So now we are inside make and I will just briefly explain how this all works, right? So what we basically do is we first get data from ManyChat. Whenever we get the data, we need to download the file. So this can either be a voice message or an image. So by downloading the file, we know what kind of file it is. And then we basically check here if the file name contains WAF, because if it contains WAF, then it is an audio file. 
right? So whenever we have that, then we send it to ChatGPT and we create a transcription. So we basically transcribe the message. And then when that happens, we create a conversation. So we create a conversation with ChatGPT then we set the thread ID, so basically the conversation ID in ManyChat. We grab the response from OpenAI and we make sure that we remove all the sources. So that's basically what we do over here. So whenever the OpenAI assistant gives an answer, we always have these kinds of sources here. And you basically want to remove these. And that's what we basically do with the text parser. Then we send the answer from ChatGPT to ManyChat. And then in ManyChat, we send a ManyChat flow and we still need to create that flow. We will do that later. And then if we already have a conversation, then we will just send another message inside that conversation. We get an answer from ChatGPT. Again, we remove the sources and then we send it right back to ManyChat and we send the ManyChat flow. So that's basically what, how this all works. And we basically only need to connect all of this stuff to your ManyChat account and to your OpenAI account. And that's what we will do right now. So you just need to follow each and every step that I do right now. If you just follow all the steps, this ChatGPT integration will work on your account. We will start with ManyChat. So here we can create a webhook. And in order to create a webhook, we first need to create a connection. So I recommend just calling this the name of your ManyChat account. So in this case, it is Chatomize. And then we need to have an access token. So the access token is an API token in ManyChat. So if we go back, then we go to settings and then go to API here. And then we need to generate your API key. So we copy that and then we paste that over here. Click on save. And then here we can call it a good name. So I will give it the name that you would uh, expect. So it will be ChatGPT ManyChat integration and then voice. Click on save. And now that is working. So then we can also change our default reply. So basically whenever we have an image or a voice message, what we will do is we will uh, do an action here. And then here we have make, trigger make, and then choose for ChatGPT ManyChat integration voice, right? And then we set it live. So that's working. Then we download the file. You don't have to do anything with that. And then here we need to connect this to ChatGPT. So here we need to create a new connection and I will just call this again, Chatomize. And then we need to have an API key and an organization ID. So if we go to OpenAI and then go here to the settings, then here you have your organization ID. So you can just copy that and then paste it over here. And then we also need to create an API key. So here we have an API key, click on create a new secret key, and I'll just call this uh, make key. And you also need to make sure that this is a service account. So when you choose for a service account, the benefit of having that, and uh, it cannot contain a space, so I'll just do it like this. So the benefit of having a service account is that, for example, if you leave this OpenAI organization, it will still continue to work. And if you uh, own it by yourself, then basically if you leave this organization, then it will stop working. So you always want to use a service account. And then the project will be the default project. And you can click on create a secret key. And then we can just copy this key and then paste that over here and then click on save. So now that it's working, we use the file from this. So from this module, we use the whisper one and you can add a prompt, but I generally don't add a prompt because like it knows what it needs to do. It needs to create a transcript, right? That's working. And now we need to connect all of these other ones as well. So here we create the Chatomize. We use the Chatomize connection. So then it will automatically say it's like the e-commerce business assistant, but this is not the correct one, right? This is the one that I use in my template. So you always need to click here and then click on the right assistant. And it's very important that you do that because if you don't do this, the integration will definitely not work. So this is all set. This all works. Then we can just hit save. And then we can do the same thing over here. So then again, we can choose the Chatomize one then make sure you choose the right assistant. This is all set. Then click on save. 
Then here we need to set the thread ID. So we do that with many chats so we can reuse the connection. Then here we have the subscriber ID that's working. And then here you have the ChatGPT thread ID. And this looks like it's already set up correctly, but it's not. It's now using the thread ID of the template and not the thread ID in your ManyChat account. So you need to make sure that you click on this and then you can basically choose the ChatGPT thread ID and that is the correct one. That is the correct one that is inside your account. So if you click on this, now it is set up correctly. And it's very important that you do that because if you don't do that, it doesn't work. So here we can hit save and then we basically need to do the same thing for the response, here for the response, and then we're basically done. So here again, choose for Chatomize. Subscriber ID, again, it looks like this is set up correctly, but it's not. Go with ChatGPT response. Now it is set up correctly, hit save, and then do also the last thing over here. So we will go with the ChatGPT response and that is set up correctly. Now the last step that we need to do is send a ManyChat flow. So whenever we get back the answer from ManyChat, we set a custom field and then we send the flow. We're basically saying, okay, here's the answer from ChatGPT. So we still need to create that flow. So if we go back to ManyChat, go to automation, then we can create a new automation, start from scratch. I will just call this ChatGPT response. And what this just contains is the response from ChatGPT. So you can either click on this bracket or you can just type in a bracket. It's like ChatGPT response, and that's it. So that's basically what it does. We click on set live. And then here what we need to grab is this part of the URL. So in the URL bar, you have like content and then a lot of numbers. You basically need to grab all of that. And that's what we will use to send the flow. So here we have many chats and flow, connect that to the account. And then here we need to paste that number and do the same stuff over here. Right, and then hit save. So now we have connected all of them correctly. Then we can hit save. And then this is working as it should be. So again, I'll explain it. We get something from ManyChat, we download the file, we check if it's an audio file, then we let it transcribe by ChatGPT, then we create a conversation, then we send back the conversation ID to ManyChat, we parse the text so that whenever we have a source, we automatically remove that. We send the response back to ManyChat and then we send the ManyChat flow, which is this one and that is all working so what you can either do now is like if you want to test out this integration before you use it you can just click on run once and then uh, you can just trigger the default reply by just sending a voice message to your instagram account um, if you're already ready to get started with this you can basically just enable this right and when you enable it then it will automatically work and that's basically it that's the complete integration so let's see how this works on instagram so now I'm on Instagram and then if I hit here the voice message, then I say, what is your return policy? Then we send it, then we send it to ChatGPT, ChatGPT transcribes it and gives the answer right back here in the DMs. And there it is. So it says the return policy allows you to return your order within 14 days after delivery. And for example, if I send another one with, what is your delivery term? And then it says the delivery term states that if you create an order before three, it will be shipped from the warehouse within two business days. And that's it. That's how you can automatically reply to voice messages with AI. And I also have another video on my YouTube channel that basically explains how you can automatically reply to normal messages with ManyChat and ChatGPT. So for normal messages, you can use the other integration and for voice messages, you can use this integration and you can basically use them together. And it's also good to know that for now, this is only possible on Instagram and Facebook. With ManyChat, it's not possible for WhatsApp yet, but I know that they are working on this, so they will probably add this in the future. And if you want to get started quickly, I highly recommend downloading my free template that gives you access to all of the ManyChat flows and the Make integration. But this is just the first step. If you want to drive real results for your business, you should auto DM anyone who comments on your Instagram post. Check out this video to learn how.